You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. Just three days to go before this year's historic Academy Awards. All eyes are on two first-time Oscar nominees, the youngest ever and the oldest ever, competing for the coveted Best Actress statue. More from ABC's Brandy Hitt. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oscar loves a good drama. This door tonight has been opened. <laughs> and this year, two women are making history in the Best Actress category as the oldest and youngest nominees ever. Congratulations. Thank you. Nine-year-old Quivenzene Wallace may have difficulty reaching a press microphone, but she easily won many hearts in her first film, Beasts of the Southern Wild. But me and my daddy, we stay right here. Quivenzene is competing against Hollywood's leading ladies. So is French actress Emmanuelle Riva, nominated for her role in Amour. This is fast. With six decades of acting experience, the 85-year-old was recently awarded a BAFTA in London. Looking back through Oscar history, the oldest Best Actress winner, Jessica Tandy, won when she was 80 for Driving Miss Daisy. Marley Matlin is the youngest Best Actress winner at 21 for Children of a Lesser God. And many remember Tatum O'Neill, who at 10 won Best Supporting Actress for Paper Moon, just one year older than Quivenza A. I'm happy and excited, but like it's something that you never think that happen at your age. But many critics believe this year, experience will pay off in Oscar gold. I think Emmanuel Riva from Amour is going to win Best Actress. She is amazing in this movie. On top of that, Oscar Sunday just happens to be Emmanuel Riva's 86th birthday, meaning she could have two reasons to celebrate. Brandy Hitt, ABC News, Los Angeles. I love all those tidbits and history behind the show. I think we're all going to have to know the name Quavenzene and how to say it <laughs> come Monday. Uh